Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you all doing well. Welcome back. MoView is here again. Today I'll show you a 2021 action, thriller movie called Nobody. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care if you haven't watched yet. But first, let me introduce you to this movie's cast. Bob Odenkirk as Hutch Mansell, Alexei Serebriakov as Julian Kuznetsov, Connie Nielsen as Becca Mansell, Christopher Lloyd as David Mansell, Michael Ironside as Eddie Williams. And now, enjoy the movie. Hutch Mansell seems ordinary, having two children with his wife Becca and an unremarkable office job in his father-in-law Eddie's metal fabrication company. His marriage is strained, and his working life seems tedious. One night, an armed man and woman break into his house, and his teenage son, Blake, tackles one of them. Hutch is reluctant to intervene and pleads with his son to release the man, who punches the boy. The thieves leave, but the incident causes everyone to think he is a failure. Hutch contacts his brother, Harry, on a hidden radio in his office and explains that he held back because the burglars were desperate, scared, and using an unloaded gun. Later that day, his daughter, Abby, asks for help finding her missing kitty cat bracelet. Without a word, Hutch leaves to see his father, David, and borrows his father's old FBI badge and gun to track down the burglars. He finds their apartment and threatens them, but when he discovers their sick baby, he leaves. Thugs stop the bus he takes home, and Hutch, looking for an opportunity to release his frustration, beats them under the pretense of protecting a young woman from sexual harassment. At home, he realizes he hasn't been communicating with his family and tries to reconnect with them. Harry persuades him to see, the barber, who provides Hutch with information about one of his victims, he is the younger brother of Julian Kuznetsov, a Russian crime lord. In retribution, Julian sends a crew led by his right-hand man Pavel to capture Hutch at home. Hutch hides his family and kills most of the attackers before Pavel tushes him into unconsciousness and captures him. Finding a fire extinguisher in the trunk of a car he is locked in, Hutch uses it to blind the driver, causing the car to crash, killing Pavel and his remaining crew. Hutch sends his family to safety before setting his house on fire to destroy any evidence. Hutch reveals that he is a former auditor, the last guy any organization wants to see at their door, an assassin employed by intelligence agencies. After letting one of his targets go free, Hutch found him a year later, reformed and happily living with his new family. Wanting a similar life, Hutch retired, against the wishes of his superiors. After buying Eddie's company with a stash of gold bars, Hutch burns the Obshack money that Julian was protecting for the mob, along with Julian's art collection. Julian pursues Hutch to the factory with his men, where David and Harry show up to help eliminate the gangsters using a variety of weapons and deadly traps that Hutch had set up, and kill all the gunmen until only Julian is left. Out of ammunition, Hutch charges Julian with a claymore mine attached to a pane of bulletproof glass and detonates it, killing the Russian mobster. After ensuring that his father and brother escape, Hutch is arrested before his police interrogators are notified, to their surprise, that he should be released with no charges filed. Three months later, while buying a new house with Becca, Hutch receives a call suggesting that his services are still required. In a mid credit scene, Harry and David are shown driving to an undisclosed location in an RV filled with guns. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.